Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic today is the U.S. Colored Troops and the Battle of Nashville. And of course we have with us to talk about the uh, U.S. Colored Troops and the Battle of Nashville, uh, Leo Kwame Lillard. And of course, uh, Brother Lillard, let me welcome you to uh, the uh, show this morning. Glad to be here, and I hesitated in terms of trying to identify you because matter. there are so many <laughs> names that we could use in terms of the kinds of situations that you've been involved in and uh, uh, your leadership and et cetera, that it's difficult to simply come up with one word to say that you are this, right? because you might be this at one moment and next time you're doing something entirely different. Let's give our audience an opportunity this first uh, segment to uh, find out more about some of the things that we're talking about now, about your involvement with whatever, by having you to talk about your background, your education, and some of the things that eventually led you to uh, come here as a representative dealing with the uh, U.S. Colored Troops and the Battle of Nashville. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a Nashville boy. I went to Carter Lawrence Elementary School and uh, Pearl High, and, and I got a degree in engineering at, at a and I in those days in 1961. Mm -hmm. And of course, because of my involvement in the civil rights struggle, mm -hmm. I felt that when I finished my degree in 61, and we had, we had basically had victories in the sit-ins, mm -hmm. the lunch counters, the sit-ins, the stand-ins, we integrated the, the movie theaters, mm -hmm. we integrated the swimming pools, and then, of course the Freedom Ride. Mm -hmm. And I kind of felt na it was time to outgrow Nashville. Mm -hmm. I got my degree from Tennessee State, and I wanted to see a bigger world, so I left here. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of chased out a little bit, mm -hmm. kind of encouraged to leave by the mm -hmm. Klan. Mm -hmm. So I, I went, to New, went to New York City mm -hmm. and pursued uh, other educational and primarily universal topics of, of struggle and justice oppression mm -hmm. and kind of broadened my view out about how we fitted in the whole scheme of things as African Americans mm -hmm. on a global con context. Mm -hmm. So I got kind of baptized in the, into the radical uh, um, um, Pan-African movement in, in Harlem by mm -hmm. Malcolm X and, and, and James Baldwin and that whole uh, 1960s uh, intellectual international uh, mm -hmm. uh, paradigm of struggle and and when I finished my degrees and had my children in New York City I decided to come back home in 76 mm -hmm. and when I came back home of course I was bristling with ideas and and just 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 running over with, mm -hmm. with enthusiasm to continue the liberation struggle mm -hmm. as opposed to the civil rights struggle mm -hmm. now that might be very clear good I'm mm -hmm. way past civil rights okay mm -hmm. I'm into liberation mm -hmm. of human mm -hmm. beings on, on the globe mm -hmm. as a big difference in, that, in, the, in those concepts. So when I came back in 76, I needed to do something. Mm -hmm. I needed to use some of these skills at home, all this education, these three master degrees mm -hmm. I had. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of education. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to use it. So I began to, to search, search for uh, a crucible, a vehicle, mm -hmm. in which to, 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 to utilize some of these skills to, to mm -hmm. continue the struggle here in Nashville. And, and, and I was a Capitol Hill Baptist Church uh, a member, so we started Young Adult Fellowship. Mm -hmm. And we uh, went to TPS and adopted children, mm -hmm. and then we dealt, dealt with the, uh, the, the bust of Forrest that was being unveiled okay. in November of 78, mm -hmm. and the church had a protest downtown at the Capitol, and, and, and the rest of history, it's, I just simply moved from there to finding organizations and mm -hmm. finding coalitions that really wanted to sort of create, create a different kind of awareness mm -hmm. model for mm -hmm. struggle, because it was clear our children and our adults had very little consciousness mm -hmm. in the city. They were very satisfied with living in Hendersonville or Antioch, mm -hmm. and they were not looking at the oppression mm -hmm. that was occurring on our children, mm -hmm. particularly in the, in the public schools, mm -hmm. where they were not teaching mm -hmm. black history. Mm -hmm. We forced the court through Wiseman, through a coalition of parents, mm -hmm. black and white, to look at opening up the curriculum so all children could learn mm -hmm. the correct history, not white history, not black history, but the correct history. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did in 70, 979, 80, 81. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, you know, that there, there still was something missing in this. Mm -hmm. we, we still hadn't opened up the issue of cultural, cultural identity. Yeah. So we started the African American Cultural Alliance, mm -hmm. and we're into our 24th year mm -hmm. of having the only African festival on a black college campus mm -hmm. in the entire United States. Mm -hmm. And this is the famous African Street yes, Festival. Yes, 24 years. Every September That's at right. Tennessee State That's University. Right. It is the only one of its nature mm -hmm. in the country. And this is your 24th year in Coming up in September. Uh, That's right. That. And we've outlasted Dr. Haney. Mm -hmm. Black Expo, Summer Lights, Italian Street Festival. Mm -hmm. Now here dancing in the district is no longer. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have outlasted all of those major mm -hmm. events on no money, mm -hmm. no funding, no grants, and no government interference. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that speaks well of the mm -hmm. folks who 
run this little tiny operation we have. Mm -hmm. But it speaks more of a, a city that supports what we do mm -hmm. and how we do it. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. our formula is very simple. Mm -hmm. Give the people a major, mm -hmm. true ethnic event mm -hmm. that is free mm -hmm. on a public mm -hmm. university campus. That's a pretty simple formula. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a tall order, though, because nobody's done it. <laughs> okay, and the, but, but you've been quite successful uh, at it, and, well, and I can certainly attest to that. Lots of support from Nashville, mm -hmm. black, white, everybody. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, of course, let us make preparations for this uh, first commercial break, okay. uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Brother Lilly. Okay. And then we'll be back and talk okay. about some of the sure. aspects. And, of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Okay. 